to show you the five red card trick, but it looks like I've showed you the five queen of spades card trick. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Well, this has been amazing. I wish we had more magic, and we do, but you'll have to wait until next time. Till then, I'm Dean Kane. Have a great night. The new series, The Winchesters, premieres Tuesday, October 11th. Now attend shock and heartbreak in Palms. A quick moving fire rips through a strip mall, killing 17 cats and destroying several businesses. Tonight, one of those business owners is speaking out about the devastation. A call for help ends in deadly gunfire in South LA. Police open fire on a man armed with a replica rifle. The investigation now underway tonight. And a touching tribute to the monarch they called Granny. Queen Elizabeth's eight grandchildren surrounding her coffin in ceremonial silence. This as world leaders and famous faces arrive in London to say goodbye to the crown. That's now on the news at 10. Good Saturday evening. Welcome to the News at 10. I'm Courtney Friel. And I'm Carlos Salcedo. In tonight for Rick Chambers. Devastation in Palms tonight where 17 cats died in a fire that tore through a strip mall. For business owners and for the families who entrusted their cats to the pet hotel here. And you can see the tremendous amount of damage left behind. This fire took 70 minutes to contain and firefighters were out here for another 12 hours clearing away all of this debris. Flames tore through this shopping center on West Venice Boulevard just as people were waking up Saturday morning. Five adjoining businesses, including a pet boarding facility, are nearly destroyed. 17 cats were killed and several more were rescued. Peter is a longtime Culver City resident who came to check on his friend's business, Golden China Restaurant, which sustained some smoke damage. I have a friend that owns the, uh, the place and he puts his heart and soul into it, working 12 14 hours a day um, and uh, this will be very devastating to he and his family. I see you're getting emotional. Yes. Tell us what's on your mind. Well, I know the family uh, pretty well and uh, feel sorry for them. Firefighters worked to stabilize the building from sun up until sundown, which included removing a tremendous amount of charred debris. And this was a difficult fire to get under control. In fact, one firefighter was injured and taken to the hospital for observation. It took us over 73 minutes to extinguish this fire with over 100 firefighters. Business owners like Mohammed Zulfi are devastated. He owns a tobacco shop. I work hard. As it's gone everything. Three weeks ago, his store was burglarized, and now this fire claimed all of his merchandise. He says he's not sure what he'll do next. Let's see what's going on, insurance and everything. I don't know anything, you know. Right now, my mind is not good right now. I'm very upset, you know. You work hard, and you don't have nothing to do, you know. And there is an arson team investigating the cause of this fire. Business owners tell me they're now checking in with their insurance companies, but they have no idea whether or not they'll be able to rebuild. We're live in Palms tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff, KTLA 5 News. Very tragic. Rachel, thank you, though. We're following developing news in South L.A., where police shot and killed a man who was armed with what we've learned was a airsoft rifle. Police responded to the 400 block of West 100 and 2nd Street around 1230 this afternoon after someone called 911 to report a domestic violence situation. When officers arrived, they say a man carrying the replica rifle exited one of the buildings. Police opened fire, striking the man who later died at the scene. Authorities say they're conducting a thorough investigation. We're not exactly sure what transpired in the moments that the officers arrived, but there is body-worn footage of this encounter so that we can get a very accurate idea of what led up to this, whether the officers gave any commands, whether there was time for them to even give any commands. No officers were hurt during the shooting.